So in today's video, we're showing you the best method I've learned to green almost every single shot in NBA 2K25. There are some animations and releases and push settings that you may not know, which is stopping you from hitting greens, just like we are in this video today. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you my settings, the difficulty I play on, and the high risk reward and everything like that. So let's go ahead and get into those settings. Now, just to show you, here's the settings I play on. And in terms of release times and everything like that, we are playing on high risk reward. Layup doesn't really matter too much. We're playing on Hall of Fame with high risk reward. And we are going to go ahead and talk about different types of jump shots. So today, I want to talk about a couple things with jump shooting and general getting your shots to be green every single time. Now, there seems to be some sort of secret or some things people don't understand with release time. Now, as you can see here, we've got ourselves set up on a push. Release speed of absolutely nothing, an animation blend at 50%. Now, you can go ahead and copy these if you want to. If you have a look at the bottom right there, we've got release speed at minus B, release height B, and etc. Now, if we mess around with these, of course, this doesn't change anything in particular. But I like to play on push. So when the ball gets to the fingertips, we push forward, and that's how we release. Now, let's go ahead and show you some footage of me using this timing. And then we are going to play around with the speed and show you how it can all differ in general. So, starting off with the first set and we showed you. Now, my release point, if you look at the visual cue there is very fast because we are basically releasing the ball as soon as it hits the fingertips of our player now the where the confusion is getting here is the visual cue is completely different to the release time of your animation so if i go ahead and show you now we put our visual cue right to the bottom on the jump you'll see the absolute difference so these were the settings that you just saw now we are going to go ahead and change the visual cue all the way down to jump so the release speed doesn't make any difference you want it to be as quickly as you can especially online but now we are going to set it to when we jump and now you are going to see the differences in terms of release and i will compare these together so let's go ahead and get back onto the court and you'll notice immediately when we get into it my jump time is completely too fast slightly too fast the time is good and there you go it's much much quicker for me to do it off the jump because it's something i've learned but again we're still red time in the shots because i've got to get in locked in to that but you can see the animation difference in terms of the visual cue in terms of our timing as well is well off because we are looking at the bar on the left-hand side when we should be looking at our actual feet of catching the ball when we jump. So when we reach the top of our jump is when we release. So again, the visual cue and the release cue are completely two different things. Now, if I go ahead and compare them together left and right, you can see exactly what I mean. So let's go ahead and do that now. So all that means is our visual cue to release is between the jump, the set point, or the push, depending on what you prefer. Now, for me personally, I prefer push. Now, let's go ahead and compare the release time. So we are on the quickest release time, as you know. Now, we push this all up, or the slowest release time, so as we know. Now, we push this all the way up to A+, and then put it back to the original changes that you saw at the start. We can go ahead and basically see what's going to happen with these changes now. So let's go onto the court. Now, if I'm thinking this right, every release I have should be slow. So you can see they're slightly fast, but the timing was great. So again, I practice this jump shot a lot. So in terms of where our the timing is, I'm ignoring the green bar on the left-hand side every time. And I know on push, when the ball hits the top of his hand, is when I release and when I flick forward. Now, again, we are getting a little bit out of time, so I've got to get used to the release time being quicker. But you want to have a play around and see what you find the most comfortable. Now, it is really important that you practice this and you figure out whether you prefer your visual cue to be at the push, the jump, or anywhere else on the release, for example. And once you knuckle this down, you will see the massive difference. Now, I could probably show you some more examples, but I think this is the best way to explain it. And you can see here, we are starting to... go well, as I say that, we read them now. We are starting to green the shots because I've got so used to this jump shot and doing that. Hopefully, this improves you now. Of course, this is after the patch has come out and green window is much bigger. But if you did want to improve your green window a little bit more, all you're going to have to do is turn off that visual cue on the left-hand side, and that will actually increase your green window more. So let me go ahead and do that now in my settings. We're going to head down to controller settings, and we are going to head over to two settings in general sorry on animations and let me go ahead and fix that now so when i customize hub is where i was meant to go we're going to turn this off so we don't going to have the green arrow anymore to help us and that actually improves your green window even bigger you have a bigger window as they say so get used to visualizing where you want to release with the person that you are controlling and their animation once you lose the arrow or any sort of visual cue like that 
you can see how easy it is for me to green time these shots now. As I say that, I missed it. But you can see there the idea behind it in terms of we're just looking at what our players do. So when someone's up in your face and they're pushing D very hard on you, you can basically get away from the shot because you're only focusing on the animation. You're not focusing on anything else. There's no more distractions. And once you know where your personal preference is for the release point, whether it's on the jump, whether it's going to be on the release of the finger or the push of the push through or the jump shot, is going to help you increase massively. Now, if you do have any questions, please comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, smash that like button and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next video.